Hi guys, this is Janet Michelle at You Caught Me Crafting and I am so, so excited to show this painting. I bet you can kind of see what it is, but this picture of Minyungi kind of matched the vibe of this beautiful box. And it is uh, The Corpse Bride by Tim Burton. There she is, looking so beautiful, and look at this box. 33 colors, including 4 ABs, 55,913 diamonds. It is a square, and I just love that it has that exact information. Diamond painting instructions. We'll put sparkly C matches just because he's holographic and it just worked. <laughs> You know I have to do that with every sneak peek and usually every painting, but I'm going to go ahead and take off this plastic. I love so many of Tim Burton's movies. I'll just talk and ask you guys some questions while I take this off. Do you like Tim Burton's movies? No Nightmare Before Christmas is not a Tim Burton movie. He thought of the characters and story, but it's not directed by him. But I love like Edward Scissorhands. I love corpse bride like I said. I like old Tim Burton movies but what Tim Burton movies do you guys like? I know a lot of people like Sweeney Todd, um, Edward Scissorhands. Did I mention Edward Scissorhands? I might have. There are so many. Here we go. I'm so excited. Here's our second sticker if you want to just, you know, do that or put it, if you want to kit it up and put the sticker there. We'll open up the toolkit and then I'll take the plastic off. First it is a square so if you get a round painting the only difference is it won't have tweezers because some people like to place the diamonds using the tweezers. Square diamonds, not round. <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Those people amaze me, but we have a green pen. I'm sure green squeegee. Here are the tweezers, the very sharp tweezers. Whoop. Here's our sparkly tray with the plug. Green squeegee, a bag of baggies. A four and a seven multi-placer. A pretty sparkly cup reminder. Two things of dark pink heart wax in a cute little container. And this golden flower washi tape. I have a lot of this one and I love using it. Your washi tapes are so pretty. So that is our toolkit and I will clean this up and take the plastic off. Be right back. Okay, all clean. And okay. So in every package you will get a thank you for your purchase, which does have a coupon code inside, tips and tricks links to the Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group, which I will include all at the bottom along with my social media. And also, just to let you guys know, there is a coupon code, like I said, but if you haven't bought from Diamond Art Club before and it's your first time, you can use my coupon code, which is right here. You caught me crafting. And you can get $10 off of your first purchase. And that's a lot, I promise. You can do the math and check it out, but... So, of course, I'm not saying use it, use it, but if you'd like to, that is my code if you haven't bought one before and you caught me crafting for $10 off your first purchase. And then, if you download their app, you can get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So right there. You can scan it with a QR code or just go to the app store and download it. That's what I did. 
but here are the tips and tricks and things like that. I'll have everything linked below. Here we have the gorgeous art by Warner Brothers. So, you know, they've been doing our Harry Potter and now we have, it's a 33, yes, 33 colors with four ABs. I cannot wait to see where they go. This is such a beautiful, beautiful movie. And the artwork is so beautiful also. I love these colors. And I can't wait, 33 colors in all of this. The color palette's gonna be so beautiful. But if you haven't seen this movie, I highly suggest it. It's not dark or morbid, like, I mean, she's a corpse bride, but the story and the meaning behind it is so, so sweet. That's usually how Tim Burton movies go. You know, especially it is, you know, animated, and the animation is like Nightmare Before Christmas. And she is, I think, voiced by Helena Bonham Carter. So, there's the art. And let's go ahead and open this canvas, shall we? So what we'll do is look at the canvas. Then we'll go through the colors. I will cut the ABs out. Show you where the ABs are on the drill field. Zoom in, show you that drill field up close so that you can see how gorgeous and easy it is to place diamonds with diamond art just because they hand render and they print so well. So it makes it so much easier for me who's not great at squares, but I'm slowly getting better. What crafting is, you shouldn't stress about crafting, it should be fun. And this is one I cannot wait to start working on. Look at her. She's looking, I think she's looking at him. She's like, hey, do you see me? And I love the little tombstone. Everything looks so clear. So let's go ahead and get to this canvas because I cannot wait. Oh, again, she is square and 56 by 64, so not too big. Not a bad size if you're trying your first square or painting or anything like that. And you can put this sticker in your logbook. That's what I do. And these are all stickers for getting up. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get to this canvas. Do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club, always at the top. And then, oh my goodness, look. Look. Everything's so clear. You can even see her little wedding ring. And her hair, those three tints in her hair are going to look beautiful, her blue skin, I love her big white eyes and how they did keep her lips kind of like a palish pink, there are so many colors in here, I love her wedding dress and how it is kind of tattered, but still gorgeous, and how she's wearing her veil. You can see it spreads out behind her. And there's a big, what is that? Is that a tombstone? Looks like an old kind of cover-up tombstone right there. And then there's one behind her. The tree, just so much detail. It's so Tim burton -y. <laughs> you know what I mean, Tim burton -y. you know. <laughs> and then if you don't want to get up, they do have the schematic and everything you need, bottom right and top left. So if you want to keep parts covered, you can still see it here. Or if you want to start top to bottom, you have that one. And you do have a lifetime warranty. And if you lose diamonds or... If it does come and you're missing a color, I had one come and it was missing a color and I talked to Diamond Art Club, they literally shipped me those diamonds the same day. So I mean, customer service, don't worry about ever calling them if you have a question or anything like that. They're always ready to help you guys out. Let's take a look at those colors, shall we? 33 colors. I'm excited to see the palette that they've created for this. Remember, hand rendering, so 
I'm so excited. I'll be right back. She'll be laying flat and then I will have the colors laid out right here so we can look through them. Then I'll go through them quickly, point out the ABs, drill field. You guys should know by now. Not should know, but if you've watched my videos, thank you so much, number one. And that's how they all go because that's how I love to look at diamond paintings. She's so cute. Okay, so she's all flattened out. And here is our beautiful color palette. So I cannot wait to start with the colors. Then we'll move on to the ABs. 780, 154, 327, 550, 318, 797, 796, and 322. Our first AB, 101, 312, 820, 415, 799, and 3371, 3755. 158 and 3799 for a bunch of ABs, 125, 141, 139, beautiful, 336 times 2, and 3755. Oh, so we have two bags of 3755. Sorry that you can hear construction outside, but hopefully you can hear me over it. 3807, 317, times 2, 3. So 317 times 3, 414 times 2, and 792. We have 3325 times 2, 334, 823 times 2, and 775. We have two bags of 939, two bags of 310, a bag of 3841, and then two bags of 413. So those are our beautiful colors. And now let me cut out those ABs. Here are our four ABs. They chose beautiful colors. Let's just go through them. We're going to start with 101. And the symbol is one. You can see it's just a small bag of this dark blue AB. Kind of matches my nails right now. And I'll just go from top to bottom. And if I miss some, that means if you do buy this, extra surprises for you. So, let's look for ones. Let's go to the right. If my voice... If it sounds like I'm further or closer to the camera, it's because I'm moving from the left to the right to look for these. Ones, where are you? You can see there are a lot of shades of blue, so... First, just follow my finger. If you haven't done this before, everywhere my finger goes is where an AB is. And for ones, I saw some right up here at the top of the tree. There are two, two, and then three. There is one single one right there. Let's see if we can look down this tree. There are a couple more right here. You can see that little lighter spot. One. Sorry, but they have to work, so they're not too loud. You might not even be able to hear them. Here's a line of four, four, a line of six, some more lines of four, and a couple more lines of ones going all the way down this tree. So there are a bunch on the left side of the tree. Remember, that's this color. Maybe on the other tree. Okay, so there are one. See the lighter lines up here. Those are all ones. Ones, 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 ones. And as you go down the tree, there are ones right here. 
right there. Three ones, three ones. Here are a group of ones, or a line, it's like an L of ones. More lines. Three, three. A long line of ones right there. I can zoom in a little bit just so you can see. There's a line of ones right there. I don't see any down here. Ones are going to be on these trees. So they're just going to make those trees stand out and have some extra sparkle. Then we move on to our second AB, 125. A beautiful light color. And that symbol is two. So we can start at the bottom because it's darker. So there probably aren't any, but bottom right, I don't see any. There are six twos right here. There are twos right here. This light line right there, that one, twos, twos. There are six twos right here, and then this whole line, those are twos. So twos right there, I think I showed you. Then none over here on her dress. Let's move up. So we have the twos there. There couple more twos right here going all the way up to here there are like four then six in a row and then there are some more right here and then actually this whole see this lighter part right next to it there's a darker shade those are all twos all the way going down. That's a big group of twos. And there's a little group right there. And then the darker part right here. Those are also twos. So all the dark parts right there. Those are twos. So there's going to be a big, big spot of this beautiful color right there. We have five twos right there. And then another big group. So I'm showing you because you can see they're the darker color. And then right here, there's a group of twos. See them? And then they go all the way to the very top left, this whole darker spot. Those are twos. There's a line of twos there. They go down. There are a couple down here. There are some right here. And then a couple of lines of twos, and then there are two twos right there. So, this color basically covers all of this area in huge, huge places. A lot right above her. And then there are just some random spots of twos. Okay, now let's go to three. 139. This is weirdly one of my favorite ABs. Most people might like the bright ones, but I love this kind of grayish, sparkly AB. 139. So let's look for threes. And I love those twos, and there are so, so many. Let's start from the bottom. Oh, I'm looking for threes. Look at her beautiful dress. Okay, so threes, remember, are this gray color. So it would make sense to be in her dress. In the lighter area, those are threes. There are threes here. All of this. The whole lighter part here, 
here, here, here, all of this down to these two right here, threes, all of that, and all of these little lighted parts right here, threes, I won't go through all of them, but every single lighter area, threes. Let's keep going up her dress. That sounds weird. <laughs> Let's keep moving up. Threes. Again. Right here. Moving upwards. Her veil. This threes. These little light parts. Threes. Threes. All the way up to under her arm. The light parts. Those are threes. And right here. On her arm, those are threes. There's a line of threes here, two here, then another line. There are threes right here. You can see a little group of them. Then, all of these are threes with her hand. Her hand is holding like a cloth. A tattered cloth and there are threes on the outside. So her wedding dress up to her arms. Let's keep going up. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any. On the side there's actually one three. Way, way over here, right there on that tree. But <laughs> as we move up her wedding dress, so right here, in the center, that's like the top of her wedding dress, right there. And then on her veil, there are more threes right there, those two lines. Then on her veil up here, these light areas, those are threes. Big groups of threes, a lot. That's gorgeous. And then there are a couple of threes dotting the outside of her veil. And then going up her arm, here's some threes. Threes right here. As we move up, there are two threes here, a diagonal line of threes here, and on her hand, there are threes. On each one of her finger bones, <laughs> on each one of her fingers, there are lines of threes. Wow. As you can see, well, you saw the art, and I can. At the beginning, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Looking for any more but her whole wedding dress. Now you know it's those light parts. All of the light parts. I can see that. All of those light parts. Threes on her arms up to her very, very. Fingertips, sorry. I paused because I was looking for any little runaway threes, but I think we'll just stick to the wedding dress ones and the ones on her arms. And there aren't any on these. Well, I guess no, because this finger doesn't have any, so those are where the threes are. I think that's going to be stunning. Then we have our last AB white 141. And it is for the symbol. And these really white random sporadic dots, they are, this is like the outline of the cloth that she's holding. And each one of those white dots is a four.
making sure I'm not missing any down at the bottom. Let's move up. She's just so endearing. Especially if you've seen the movie, you understand what I'm saying. Very selfless. A lovely character. Okay, so fours. I'm going to start over here because they're really over here where those big groups of twos are, remember? But there are a couple right here next to the twos. So here are two fours, then a line of fours. Here I can even, now that we're just looking at the top left. <laughs> there we go, now that we're just looking at the top left. So, there are a line of fours, fours, and there are a couple of fours. And remember this dark area, how these are all twos? Well, the light areas are fours. So, we have the twos, and then inside, we move. Here are the twos, and then there are fours all inside. These are all fours. Lines of fours here, lines of fours, and a huge, big group of fours. And just to bring those, just to bring those two colors out, these are the colors I'm talking about, two and four. So we have four lines of fours here, a big group of fours here, and here. There are six fours right there. These are all fours. This whole light area right there, you can see fours. Same here, fours. Here are some lines of fours, like three, three, and then about five or six. And then here are a bunch of twos, and then the same thing. In the middle, in the middle of those twos, sorry. It's a group of fours, so just big bursts of color, twos and four, all throughout here. This is pretty much all A, B, because then you also have the ones in the trees, so all of this. That's going to be stunning. Huge groups. See if there are any more. Just in any kind of surprising places, but that makes total sense. So the only place where the fours are that the two aren't close by are on the outside of her handkerchief. So this is just going to be covered in gorgeous ABs. The only places where we don't have any at all are this tombstone. This tombstone looking. So this painting is going to be covered in ABs. I can just use the artwork. The only parts where I don't see any are this tombstone and surprisingly her face and her hair there are some like behind her hair where there's kind of the tiara or I think it might be flowers but in those white areas behind she has some in her dress there are none on her face but the trees have them and then just this one dark part doesn't and let me see. And then this other tombstone. So the tombstones behind her 
are pretty much the only places with no ABs. But they, the ABs on her dress go up to here, and she does have some on her arms going all the way up. Oh, and sorry, there is a four on her ring. <laughs> so beautiful. I love the placement. I love the picture. I love this character. I love that hopefully we'll get to see more movie paintings just like this one and of different characters and please comment below like not just Tim Burton but what characters you'd like to see diamond paintings of. If you could have your dream diamond painting of a character from a book or a movie or a TV show, what would you pick? Because I'm very interested. I'm trying to think of what I'd pick, but there are so many choices. But they're giving us so many and that's what's so special. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club and I would really love to know all of your answers. I will pin a comment telling you guys mine. It might change, but I just can't think of one on the spot. <laughs> And I'm trying to think of one that would look really cool for a diamond painting, you know? So, I do suggest watching this movie, even with your children, it's not a scary or inappropriate movie, you know? I can't get over it, I cannot wait. I'm only going to hold off working on her because as you know I already have so many whips going on. And I'm sure she's going to be a beautiful painting to work on for events in October. I mean, perfect, right? So I want to know what you guys think of her. Again, I'd love to know the answer to my question. And I'll try to think of one for you guys. Put it in the pinned comment. Everything will be linked down below. Remember, you can use my code if it's your first time for $10 off. And so if you want to buy this beautiful, beautiful painting, she is going on sale Saturday, June 10th. And Diamond and Ruby members will get to shop for her at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes early. And then there's a general release, which don't worry, they always save art for the general. And that is at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So set your alarms, because there's so many great paintings coming out this week, I'm sure of it. That's when she goes on sale, and I will end the video how I always do. Just reminding you guys to take care of yourself. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to others, take care of them, sometimes go out of your way to help people. I found that when I do that, definitely feel some karma coming back to me. And you know, if you're feeling down, I just hope that my videos bring you a little bit of peace and joy and that diamond painting does diamond art club. Maybe this character, if you love her, or Tim Burton's movies, or another diamond painting that you might see this week that you'd like to pick up or any diamond painting that you're working on or the character that you write in the comments that you'd like to see turned into a diamond painting just sometimes take that time out if you're feeling too stressed and diamond paint or don't just watch your favorite old movie and read your favorite old book listen to an audio book stretch, go running, do whatever makes you feel happy. Taking care of yourself first is so important because if you're unhappy then, you know, it just kind of spreads and, you know, I, can, I understand very well how hard it can be to, you know, I'm not saying, oh, just smile, go outside. <laughs> not like that. I'm just saying, please take care of yourselves. You all mean the world to me. I love reading your comments and talking with you on Instagram. You can add me. It's linked below. It's just at You Caught Me Crafting. Also, please subscribe, like, comment. It takes no time. It costs nothing, but it helps me and my channel out so, so much. And I don't have a set schedule, so if you want to 
just click the notification bell. I'm going to be trying other new videos that I'm very, very excited for. So if you want to be the first to watch those and to talk with me in the comments, that would be amazing. And I just can't wait to see our little community just keep growing. I've made so many friends and I care about every single one of you. Thank you so much for what you guys do for me. I'm just going to keep working and hopefully bringing you better and better and better videos. I hope that you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you so so soon. Just one more look at this beautiful beautiful painting. 33 colors, 56 by 64. I did measure it. It's 55 by 63 so just one centimeter smaller but the dimensions are still the exact same so nothing is off. It it has those beautiful colors that we saw in the AB placement is gorgeous. Whoever hand rendered this did an amazing job and I cannot wait to see you guys working on her or maybe working on her alongside me during a Halloween event in October. So I'm just so excited and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I'll talk to you guys so, so soon. Bye. Comment, subscribe, like everything. <laughs> Only if you want to. Have a great day or night. Bye.